All right, ready? Which one do you want to start with? Let's, uh, oh, which beer we yeah. want to start with? That's a good question. Uh, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't totally matter. I just and they're all IPAs. I just have yeah. Tombstone first on my list. Okay, so that's how I did it too, so we'll just right. start there. We'll go there. All right. Inspired by the adventures of our nurses, therapists, and techs, A Beer with Atlas is the only healthcare traveling, craft beer drinking podcast. Each week, we'll open a few beers, talk about the brewery and the style of beer, and then dive into some research curated specifically for each episode. In the end, we hope each one sounds like a conversation you'd have with your friends while enjoying a few cold ones. Welcome to another episode of A Beer with Atlas. I'm Rich. I'm Brian. I'm Dolan. Why, why was it so sultry? Why was... I, I was just looking at Dolan's hair. Oh. Uh, uh. You haven't <laughs> seen Dolan's hair lately. It, what'd you call it? Luxurious. Luxurious. I want to just put my fingers in it, man. Mm. That don't, that'd be weird. It would be. It would. <laughs> let's drink these beers and then All we'll right, see what okay. happens. See, ask me again at the end. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after, after we drink four double IPAs, then <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might be up for anything at that point. That's right. So thanks to our friends, uh, Tori and Heather Campbell, uh, who, who we met, we, Dolan and I, Dolan has met, you've met him a few times, Tori yeah, yeah, and Heather times. both, yep. right? I've mm-hmm. uh, been traveling for us for two years now. Uh, I met him for the first time at TravCon this year in Las Vegas and hung out and we drank... Uh, uh, we drank all kinds of beers together. We drank oh. everything from Michelob Ultra all the way up through... Michelob Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what nice. if they still make that? I, you know, I, I looked for it. Really? And I don't think you, I don't hmm. think they do anymore. Huh. I don't know. Bummer. I mean, they still make Bud Ice. Heck yeah, they do. So, actually, there was a homeless dude in Las Vegas yeah. when Seitner and I were there like a couple of weeks ago, and he was he was hammering a Bud Ice at That's like right. 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Look, when it gets the job done. It's noon somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, okay, so courtesy of Tori and Heather Campbell. So what they do, from from what I gather, because there's a bunch of different... We have four different beers. Uh, two from Phoenix, one from Tempe, and one from Santa Cruz. So mm-hmm. they go to concerts. Like, they're concert people. Yep. Hey, I am too. And there you go. See? Yeah. I, and beer people. It's no wonder we get along with them yeah, so well. Tori is also a percussionist for a, a reggae band. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yep. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. It's uh, cool, dude. Reggae music is one of the only that really needs a percussionist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's a VIP position right there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so they'll go to they'll go to a concert somewhere. They find a brewery close. They go hang out at the brewery. And then uh, that was a heavy pour on my end. I, I'm a bit ambitious, I think, maybe to start four beers <laughs> off here. <laughs> uh, so they go find a brewery. They hang out there, have beers, and they go to a concert. So I, I that sounds like a perfect night. To me, quite honestly. Yeah. I miss those days. <laughs> They'll come back for you. Don't yeah. worry. They'll come back. They're coming back now. Yeah. So the very first one uh, from Tombstone Brewing Company uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, we have Oregon Lots 2 Hazy Double IPA. Yeah. I can't wait. I, this was one of the ones I was, well, I mean, all four of them I was pretty excited about, mm-hmm. but... I liked the can art of this one. I did. I think so, too. It's kind of got that old wanted poster feel to it. It, it, it reminds me of Oregon Trail. Oregon mm. Trail. Mm. Yeah. Man, that smells good. Mm. Tastes really good. Oh, that's exactly what you'd want there. Yeah. I do want that. Mm. Mm, that's delicious. Here's the thing. Mm. There's a little bitterness in there. A little bit. Right? Yeah. That just slaps you around a little bit, and then the okay. citrus comes in again. Mm, yum. Mm. This had three locations. This place. This three locations. Yep. Yeah. Um, I wrote down some of the hours because I picked the North Phoenix one. Okay. Because they have a North Phoenix tap yep. room maybe. Yep. So I had just 12 to 7 for Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, 11 to 10, and Sunday, 11 to 9. So that's what I found about Perfect. those. Yep. Um, I, wrote, I wrote down some of the seasonal beers. Okay. Because they have a theme going. And uh, it, it goes like this. Um, Little Baby Wyatt. Like Wyatt Earp. Oh. It's a session IPA. Oh, little baby. Because I don't yeah. think you'd call him a little baby to his face had he been around still. Uh, he would have put a bullet between right, your eyes. That's right. Yeah. Was he the guy that was the dentist? Was that Wyatt? Earp? I thought that was Doc. Could be. That's why they call him Doc. Doc. That makes sense. I thought he was. Wild West Wheat. So that's like a They're citrusy just session. Fully embracing this. Yeah. So right. the Baby Wyatt is a March through May seasonal. Okay. And then June and July is the Wild West Wheat. 
and then Fest Beer, mm-hmm. August through October. Yep. And I think that one won some awards. Mm. Like that was a pretty pretty poppin' beer. And then they have a winter ale. And this one sounded good. I've never seen one like this before. It's an amber ale sure. with cinnamon. Oh. So you got that red kind of malty mm-hmm. with some cinnamon. With some cinnamon. So it would give you that kind of Christmassy spice mm-hmm. sort of. Yeah, without probably being overpowering. Yeah. You don't get all the other like herbal sometimes you get with those Christmassy beers. Yep. Um, November through January for that one. I didn't see anything. They didn't have anything for February. So mm. eh. you got to take some time off, right? I, mean, I guess. I mean, they have four. Reset. Yeah. Cleanse the palate. If you you never know. Yeah. This has nothing to do with them at all whatsoever, but have you tried the new Shiner Cheer? No. Because it just it just no. came out. Oh, yeah. Is it different? has it on tap. It's very peachy this year. Hmm, Interesting. Peachy. Very peachy. So, I don't know. Give it a shot. Okay. But I just I had it on tap so far. But it's good. I think I'll probably have it for lunch today, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, we did the on the ice trick. Remember that? Mm-hmm. I always love to do that in a bar. Mm. It freaks people out. We poured over ice. Oh, <laughs> that beer. Remember that? Yeah. We did that? Yeah. Yeah, I do it in public, and it'll, people will just be like, what are what? you doing? Yep. And you're like, yeah. Ooh, you know so what? I, I should tell the Cunningham's guys about that. Yeah, do it today. Yeah, for sure. They'll freak them out. Um, they made a beer called Tombstone Light, L-I-T-E. <laughs> and it's like a straight, you know, lager beer. Yeah. Like, people that walk in and say, give me a Bud Light. And they're like, here you go. Tombstone it's our Light. version. So they made that. They have 18 oh. beers on tap. That's quite a few. That's a lot. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's all a lot. Sort, all sorts of different styles. Okay. Um, but they're kind of known for their hops and their hazy IPAs, from what I could tell in my research. Yeah. This this is a fine beer to be known for because, oh boy, it's good. Mm-hmm. That's a, I like this one a lot. On the can... What is, is it facing? Is it a hop? Two hops? Or what What do we got? Yeah, it's, it looks like a <clears throat> Daniel oh, Boone hop yep. and a... Mm, the old Little House in the Prairie looking. Yeah, kind of yeah. has that bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's that's the word I was looking for. There you go. <laughs> oh, it does kind of look like Oregon Trail font, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, well, the, especially the Oregon looks especially yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah. Probably not an accident. No. No, mm. not at all. Well, I figured as we would talk through these, uh-huh. you do some some of that research. Uh-huh. I want to talk about touring Heather. All right. So, yeah. I, and this goes to the root of why I wanted to do this in the first place, right? 225 episodes ago, uh, when this was just an idea, and we were getting beers from travelers if they would come through the office or they would mail them to us, even though the post office probably doesn't want you to do that. Sure. Uh, or they would give them to us at uh, meet and greets, and then we would bring them back. Like, we, all of those different things. Uh, it, this is this this is kind of the reason why I wanted to do it in the first place. This is part of what they do when they go out on a contract. They look for this kind of thing. Uh, it, it, they they actively seek it out. As as Heather works, she's been a uh, 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 labor and delivery nurse for eight years. Uh, they've been traveling for two, and he goes with on all of these. And mm-hmm. he affectionately refers to himself as the trailer bitch. Yeah. Uh, and he does like he will tell you that or whatever like that's his job or whatever but he's also the events coordinator and mm-hmm. he's also the you know he's the one that secures their housing like where are you going to take the RV is mm-hmm. it a safe place should I should we go yeah. someplace else you know that type of like thing. logistics I mean he, he, he's bought into he's bought into the the travel life too I mean he even volunteered at TravCon mm-hmm. like as a volunteer so oh wow Absolutely. you know so yeah. that's really cool that's that's it's I guess maybe is it different is that normal is this a normal situation? It's becoming more and more normal. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Maybe 10 years ago? No, not so much. Yeah. Not so much. But now... It used to always be about, like, getting your furnished apartment, Yep. your housing costs and all that. And that used to be, like, just from the jump. That's right. what you wanted to do. Cable and phone mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah. Maximize mm. your time there, though. Like, yeah. you know, get there. Make sure you're safe. Make sure it's a good part of town. Make sure that it has everything that you need. And then start exploring out in that area. Mm. Oh, well, that's the, a, a big part of each one of these, one of these beers. I can, I can, I can feel it in the beers that they went to the, this brewery and they got it there before they went to a concert. And that was an mm-hmm. important, like he found it. Like he, oh. he's like, oh, there's a, okay, we're going to go to this one. Then we're going to go to this concert. Then we're going to go eat dinner here and then, and, you know, or whatever. So yeah, yeah he's very, very deliberate about his planning. They sound like me pre-kids. Like every vacation I ever went on <laughs> was on purpose. 
I went there because there was breweries I wanted to go see yeah. or there was a concert we were going to go to and that's just how it scheduled everything. So I, I like that. Well, it's interesting. They're post kids, right? They're, yeah. Their kids are 26 and 20. Wow. And, yeah. And so they're just, they're living life. They're, this is the type of traveler that represents Atlas the best. Yeah. It is, is just this. Not only, you know, who they are and, and the type of people they are, mm-hmm. but it's how they approach each one of the contracts is uh, is what's impressive to me. So are they generally in the Southwest area? Is that they, where they like to be? Yeah, or? I think so. I mean, you, you've yeah, seen a I few met times, him, I right? met him in Phoenix the first time. Um, didn't, what was the beers that we had before with them? Were they also Arizona IPAs? Yeah, they were they were Phoenix IPAs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I had stated one was the best. He had stated the right. other was the oh, best. We had that throwdown Hop episode. Chata, the that's throwdown. Right. Mm-hmm. Chata. Yeah. yeah. So um, and you won, didn't you? Yeah, it was false promises. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. we had the blind test. test. I remember <laughs> that. Was that. Fun. <laughs> Although we got a lot of. Uh, a comments on it saying if you think false promises is better then mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. so but I, must be a, yeah you know actually i was told by some people that, that they were surprised false promises even came on my list hmm. wow i'm but like oh okay. therein lies the magic of the beer journey yeah right exactly yeah. everybody's palate, palate's different everyone is different mm-hmm. and every batch is different yep it should be right. At least would I would think, hope so. You'd think there'd be little variations of yeah. these, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I love Tori and Heather. They're just so much fun too. And I got to see them again in Travcon, and uh, yeah, it was a blast. They're just fun people. That's cool. That's just, I, it's. I like. I'm. I'm jealous of you guys <laughs> because I've been in this industry for I don't know ten years now, and I've only time I ever met anybody was when I would work strikes. Because oh, on yeah. the back end of everything, I only see their names in files, and I don't, mm. I never ever get to meet them or talk to them or anything like that. You so. know, w- w- when when the pandemic's really over, right? We're gonna get you out of the basement. Oh, I can't wait. We're gonna get you out of the basement. We're gonna go. We're gonna get you involved in some of these things. Yeah, so. maybe I'll go to Cunningham's. There you go. Hey, you can go to the uh, uh, where was what was the place, the Hofbrauhaus House in, in Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, god, so I'd much, love to go there. They were there with us. It was so much fun. Gosh, yeah, they were so they were fun. awesome. Uh, Tori and I shared a, a sausage tower. <laughs> it's just a tower of sausages. sausages. Sounds yeah. as weird as it sounds, but you know, it, it is, is. Yeah. different different types with mm. sauerkraut and oh. mashed potatoes and that sounds pretty the good. Food there is oh, so the good. Off the so good. good. I don't but, even like sauerkraut, and I and I tried mm. it because everything else was that good. Wow. You know what the best yeah. part was? The mustard. No, yeah. that's not the. No. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm glad <laughs> I wasn't there for the that. pretzels. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. All right, next beer. This is the one I wanted to open. What is it? Uh, the Ren House Spellbound. Okay. Um, That's I, the okay. second one on the list. Yes. Is that ne- okay, good. Looks a little like 3D-ish, Very maybe? 3D. Yeah. And I've had a number of beers from Ren House before. Oh, I have. I know I like them. Yeah. Mm, so, I've never had anything from Ren House. Uh, this one won a Great American Beer Festival Award. It's, uh, it's on the can. I can't. I, didn't, I thought I wrote it down, but I Guess didn't. what? I did. Did you? There you uh-huh. go. Mm. Gold. Like, Metal 2020 Hazy IPA. 2020? Yeah. Wow. This beer. Yeah. Nice. Gold medal. So this is just a straight IPA. That's all. Spellbound is just a straight IPA. Located in Phoenix off North 25th Street. Uh, yeah, I don't... I got stuff. Do you? Go. Uh, they've won three awards just recently. This year, gold medal for their Oktoberfest. Ooh. So their fest beer. Was the best in the country. The fest was the best. The fest was the best. You know, and then 2020 they won the gold for this beer, and 2019 they won a silver for their lager, which is called Valley Beer. Oh, I smell this here. Love this beer. Oh my goodness, this is. Dolan's making a face. I gotta, I gotta go in again. There's something oddly floral about it. Do you get that? Yeah, a little bit. It's almost got. Like a little bit of Brett funk at the very end. Maybe that's why I like it. Yeah, maybe. And it's so nice. This is the gold medal winner? This is, Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, man, I would never be a good judge. In IPAs, I'm surprised. That's not, there's no bitterness at all. Yeah. You're right, it ends way different. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Um, Not to be outdone by Tombstone, these guys also have 18 beers on tap. Wow. Um, They're screwing around in Arizona. No, they're not. Here's the hours for this place. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Monday through Thursday, noon to 10. That's pretty good. Yeah. Friday's 11 to 12. Saturday, 11 to 12. And Sunday, 11 to 9. Those are good hours. Um, they had something I had never seen before, and I really liked it. Their merchandise was cool. They had a 34-ounce insulated growler. So, like, almost looks like a big water bottle. Oh. And it had twist on lid. Yep. And it had finger holes underneath it. So, you oh. could grip it real easy. Yeah. The cool logo on it was like a salmon color almost or rose. Hmm. Uh, I'd never seen one of those before. And I was like, mm, I would I would like that. Because you could use it for more than, for more than just, just for beer. Yeah, exactly. It looked cool with water or whatever you want to do. Yep. But um, they had those on their website. And uh, this, I guess, from what I could read, one of the best breweries around in I mean, phoenix for, yeah or Asia. just in the country winning I, winning golds you know man. every year or at least placing somewhere <laughs> D- dolan doesn't look like he likes this very much i'm gonna be really honest yeah i i can't do this beer i'm, I'm gonna struggle through this what wow. yeah really just pour yeah. it back in there and we'll finish I'll it for finish you yeah for i you. might yeah i might oh no Which, i i'll finish it pass that can this i'll way. finish it you can have the can yeah, yeah. Mm. um it it's just not for me. Wow. How about that? I, I And I don't know. I've been on an IPA kick lately, so it's not like the, the style. Like the last couple years? Yeah. 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 No, I mean, just recently. Like I've Oh, been, even more recently? Yeah. Okay. I've been downing. Uh, actually, I've been drinking a lot of Juicy Bits. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Since you can get it, man. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good yeah. one to drink, for I sure. I have some of that at home um, in the fridge. But no, this one, it reminds me too much of... Yeah, I don't want to be too harsh, so I'm just gonna say I don't like it. That's okay. I yeah. mean, every yeah, every palate's different, right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's, it just yeah, it highlights where we're all at. Chances are good out of these four beers, we're all gonna have a favorite, we're gonna different favorite. 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 Yeah, this that's one's number sure. one so far. In fact, I'm gonna text Tori right now and be like, I want more of this one. It almost is like, like, I mean, it almost is like a finishes almost like a saison without it being dry. That's what's so weird. Oh, about it's it. spell binder. Spellbinder. Yeah. I thought it was Spellbound. No. Spellbinder. Oh. Spellbinder. Mm-hmm. Mm. Huh. Oh, there you go. I guess I spelled it wrong on my sheet. Yeah. It's hard to read it, too. It does have... <laughs> it is if hard I had to 3D read. goggles on, mm. maybe I, I could yeah. see yeah. it. Yeah. I wonder if it would stick out with... I, there, oh, I, there's the, more the colors 3D. than two, yeah. Mm. So, I don't know. Maybe. Probably an expensive label. Yeah. If you think about printing, right? Yeah. Because every color is a, a yep. little bit more. It's like a screen print. Uh-huh. And there's no wasted space on this label either. Like, they take up every bit of space they possibly can. Yeah. Can. <laughs> can. <laughs> Pun intended. Oh, it has the label or the award right on the can. Right yep. on there, yeah. Nice. So, uh, Tori and Heather met at a bar called the Hollywood Alley. Ooh. So, don't know where, but he just told me that. That's, I like uh, that because it's like super fancy and then it's not. Alley. Hollywood. Alley. Alley. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hmm. oh, only you knew about, yeah, you know, this uh, secret bar or whatever. Uh, they were they were seeing their favorite band. So, he said they were seeing their favorite band. Hmm. Now, was it their favorite band separately? Was yeah. there, like, yeah. favorite band? Like, And they were both like, oh, we love this band. Or, I knew. met each other. I do, yeah. too. There's, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. Yeah. Right? Kind of thing. <laughs> what was the band? Do we know? Uh, we do. Uh, <sighs> the band is called... Uh, I thought it, he didn't write it down for me. Oh, no. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, that band played at their wedding. Oh. oh, so it was like a local band? Local band, yeah. Band played at their wedding and then again at their 20th anniversary party. Now, that's cool. That's super but cool. they're still around and yeah. get back together? Yep. Hmm. I think public figure is going to have to do that. Mm, <laughs> maybe, yeah. 20 year anniversary for somebody's anniversary. party? Maybe. Nah. Have you played a wedding yet? No, Man, but it's, fun. it's in the plans. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Dude, there's nothing better. I love playing weddings. Playing it was weddings. a lot of fun. Nothing yeah. more lucrative, mm. too. <laughs> Do they come up and t- actually like to play the chicken dance and, and stupid shit like the that? The ones that we did were just pe- friends of ours, oh. so they kind of already knew what we did. Mm. Yep. And, uh, I mean, you go to a wedding, right? Everybody pretty much is in a good mood to be there, mm-hmm. which yeah. is a great crowd. Right. You know, they, they chose to come. Yep, the people that we played for really liked our stuff anyway, so they forced it on all their friends too, and wow, it's just a blast. I love it. I'm going going through my notes again to see if he told me the name of the band, and I don't. Oh wait, here it is: Major Lingo. Major Major Lingo. Lingo. Major Lingo. Interesting. This name. Do we know what town this was? Uh, It did not say what town. No, Mm. 29 years ago. So they've been married for 29 years now. Dang. 
That's pretty there good. Go. See if Major Lingo is still around. Major What's Lingo. the date today? Today, the as of date. recording yeah. Yeah. day, yeah. it's uh, eleven ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in two days, it'll be mm-hmm. me and my wife's twenty seventh oh. anniversary. Wedding anniversary? No, not wedding, but no, just as no, a couple together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys were together for quite a while before you got married. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, like fifteen wow. years. What was the impetus behind that? Like, why didn't you decide, like, at year 10, like, ask her, it's time to get married? Med school. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I lived in Lincoln, and she lived in Omaha. Mm. And then eventually, I was like, you know, if I want to ever see her, I'm going to have to move here. Yeah. And then that's what we did. How'd you meet? Uh, we worked together. Valentino's. Really? Yeah. I was, was going to say, you story. said, and, uh, I was a dishwasher in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and she was up front. She was a counter girl. Okay. Taking the orders and being oh. nice to the customers, and I'd have to go up there and... Her and her sister started the same day, her twin, who now works for us. Uh, fraternal or uh, like... They they were exactly the same. Identical. Yes. They're identical twins? Yeah, they were, yeah. Do you, I guess they still are. Do you still have... Well, yeah. Do you have trouble telling them apart? No, no, no your, you can now. I, I could tell them right away. But right. Who, who's your sister-in-law? Kelly Garnum. She works oh, in, down in okay. the yep. yeah. Austin area. Yeah. Yeah. She's uh, technically part of the Texas office, right? Yeah, I, mean, I guess, yeah. Technically. She's crushing it on the expiring list. Hell yeah. There you go. Got me out of there, so that's great. Good. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so that, long story short, that's how that happened. We okay. met, at, met at work. Yeah, I was going to say, a couple episodes ago, you said, oh, I met my wife at a pizza place. And that so was it. I yeah. knew it was a we pizza place. the same yeah. one. What was the first concert you ever went to with your wife? Do you remember? Uh, probably Tori Amos. Oh, that's a good one. It was 90s, man. It's cool. Yeah. It's probably, it was probably something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But boy, we've been to a lot since then. Like <laughs> well, yeah. 15 Avid Brothers shows. <laughs> and there you a go. bunch of Willie. Maybe Willie Nelson was up there. Yeah. One of the very first times I went to a concert in Omaha was Willie Nelson. Was Willie? <laughs> yeah, nice. with her. So, Dolan, what about you and Sam? What was the first concert? Not uh, not like like indie show, right? She didn't like come to one of your shows when she was like one no, of four people. No, she doesn't come now, does she? No, no that's how my spouse was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she runs the merch table if she does. Oh, but nice. lately, we've been having uh, Ralph over in IT run our <laughs> nice. merch table. Him and his uh, girlfriend do nice. really good at that. Nice. Um, uh, first concert that Sam and I did. Uh, excluding the first concert we played together. Um, mm. We played, <laughs> it wasn't a concert. It was, it was our ninth grade talent show. Um, she sang, <laughs> yes. I played the drums. We had, I taught some dude how to play the guitar part that we played. <laughs> if you Google my name on YouTube, yeah. or if you search my name on YouTube, there is a video somewhere from my ninth grade high school of us very poorly playing uh, Fort Minor's uh, uh, it's Fort Minor. What's the song by Fort Minor? I don't know. It's a song by Fort Minor. Where'd I, you go? There you go. I hope you can drop this Lincoln. Yeah. God, that'd be uh, hot. Just it's poorly played. It, right oh, here. It's bad. Um, but you know what? It, it's it's awesome to have on YouTube because every now and then I'll just look it up and be like, look look mm-hmm. look at us. Um, Cute first, babies. <laughs> first concert we ever went to was a Skillet concert. She bought me oh, tickets to yeah. Skillet. Skillet. Yeah. I had oh. a crush on Jen Ledger, the drummer, mm-hmm. um, and so she was like. Hey, let's, let's go, go sit. Let's go see them. They were in. Uh, they were at the Divid Center in Norfolk. So interesting. Yeah, I don't recall the first concert that Jenny and I went to together, but I do remember uh, one of our first like real legit dates uh, outside of just like going to bars and hanging out with mm-hmm. friends and stuff because we met through a mutual friend. Uh, it, one of the first movies we went to see was uh, Walk the Line, the oh, Johnny the, Cash, the Johnny Cash yeah. movie. Yeah, with 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 Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, Reese. Yeah. There with their go. brown hair. Yep. Not that I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was one of the first, so it kind of stuck with me. That came up a while back. We were we were kind of just talking about early dating days or whatever. Mm-hmm. She didn't remember that. She didn't remember that, or we saw Superman Returns. Like, I, re- I introduced her to my nerd friends. We went to a midnight show of Superman Returns. Yeah. That she, was, blocked, she blocked that she from blocked her She blocked it out. Yeah. Totally blocked yeah, it I don't, out. I don't blame her for that, that one. Yeah. One, it wasn't that great of a movie <laughs> anyway, but uh, she had to meet the nerd friends, and so... Boy, and she still scary. stayed with me, so... Yeah. Yeah. Nah. yeah, I took Sam to a scary movie. That On was purpose. Our, that yeah. was our You're first. Like, she's like, gonna get scared and mm, she's gonna yeah. grab onto me. It's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. Well, we went with a group of friends oh, okay. because uh, she wasn't allowed to date or whatever. Oh, yeah. One of those things. Look at you. Yeah. What scary movie was it? Do you remember? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I didn't pay attention to the movie. 
<laughs> right before Jenny and I started dating, I, I dated a girl uh, who she lived down in Belva. She was military, and um, uh, she wanted to go see. She wanted to go to a movie. At least one of our first oh, dates. Okay. And we went to see Saw Two. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. And I'm like, oh, it's not really my thing, but that's fine or yeah. whatever. We, she was far too into it. Far too she was like taking it. notes. Ugh. Yeah, I'm like, okay, this may not work out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Torture she was, porn. Nothing. That's funny. Yeah. But you know what? I do remember. It was called Gone. It was some like girl that got kidnapped and and then like escaped. And mm. it was, yeah, mm. it wasn't like a scary, you know, supernatural at all. It was just, just a, a kidnapping scary, like thing. A true yeah. crime. Yeah. Mm. Beer number three, the shop beer company. Ooh. This one I think we could have done on our own because there was a music tie into it. Oh, there was. Well, it's called Church, Church Music. music. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, we were just talking about Skillet. There you go. <laughs> they, uh, they're, a, they're, they're a, a Christian band. Aren't they? That's yeah. super weird, mm-hmm. but I don't understand how, but yeah. Okay. I like this can. It almost reminds me of like 1989 Trapper Keeper Binder. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> right? That's totally what that is. Yeah. I don't have to look that up on the internet. I, but, well, I know what, I know what you're talking about. Trapper keeper. But, yeah. If there was like a Lamborghini right behind uh-huh, it, or perfect. a flamingo on there. Oh yeah. Um, my mind goes straight to like the you know the optical illusion, optical illusion. Uh, yeah. Thing where the magic eye where you have to like stare at it. Yeah, w- with like all the black and white stairs. Oh, and you MC don't know Escher. which way like yeah. the yeah. stairs are going. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. So. The Shop Beer Company is located in Tempe, Arizona. How far is Tempe from... Uh, sadly, I've never been to Arizona. I've been to the airport hmm. in Phoenix. I don't think it's that far. It's not far. I didn't it's, you know who is an Arizona mm-hmm. expert? Steve Seitner. He is. That well, was his territory he for He staffed time. that for... Yeah. yeah, that was his The mountain his jam. flagstaff. So oh is uh, Eric Stapp, recruiter Eric Stapp. That's his area. He used to live there. Mm-hmm. He's lived in like every part of Phoenix. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's got some stories. I miss Eric. Can we say that? <laughs> he's, he's been in the office quite a bit. Yeah. I saw him the other last time I was here, but yeah. when, pre-days when I was sitting, he sat right by right me. Right beside you. We found out we like Stephen King books and that sort of stuff together, and there you yeah, go. we had a lot of good talks. He was always an early in the morning guy. Yeah. So it'd be him and me rolling in. Now oh. he's a late at night guy. We might have a new front runner here. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, I can't wait for Dolan's reaction on this one. Another just standard IPA. Nothing special about it, right? It's just an IPA. Okay. What do you think? Yeah? I like this one. See? Mm. I like it. More, okay, uh, there's a little juice maybe to it. Maybe. It has the juice. It does have the juice. <laughs> Corn kid. Mm. Mm, that is good. I, I. That's easy. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's an I, easy yes. Mm. That's also an easy drinker. Mm-hmm. Like it's not an, at, like bitter really at all. No. What ABV is like six point seven? So this is it's very nectar, right? I mean, it's yeah, right it's in there. An IPA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, six point seven. Standard. Mm-hmm. What? Okay. Spellbinder was. I don't even see. It doesn't say. I don't know. They, they, Double IPA has got to be up around eight, eight or nine, Somewhere. probably. Yeah, we'll check it on Untapped. Yeah, I didn't write. Yeah. Um, the Oregon one was eight point two. Yeah, that's yep. my favorite so far. Mm-hmm. Um. These guys won Phoenix's Best Brewery in 2020. Okay. So they must have a wow. spot. I'll tell you what. To win Best Brewery in the middle of a pandemic means you got to be pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. you got to right? be making good beer. Yeah. Uh, here's their hours. Monday through Thursday, 12 to 11. Friday, 12 to 12. Mm. That's nice. Saturday, 11 to 12. And Sunday, 11 to 10. 11 so to 12. Good. Perfect. They're open every day. Yeah. Good. Yep. And early. Yeah. You know, early yeah. enough. That's my only complaint. Some places around here don't open until 3 o'clock. Some of them, yeah. I'm just like, mm. yeah. Sometimes you need, you know, an afternoon <laughs> beer. Sometimes. Um, they have five core beers, including the church music. So this is one of their always available beers. Oh, right? this is one of their standards. Yep. Okay. So this is that. And then they had a Neonic. So like Neon, I C, Neonic okay. Okay. series. They had a bunch of fruited sours. Mm. Then they had a Dream Crusher, oh, Crusher, Dream Crusher Stout series. So different barrels. So it's just, you know, take your, take your, sta- your mm. like your standard stout base, put it in this barrel to put it in that barrel. Oh, okay. One of them I saw was like a 15 year old barrel that they had it in. Really? And then they sold bombers of that. So yep. that was the only way to get them and they were sold out. Unfortunately, they have these beers as well. Okay. Um, I wrote them down, limited release beers. So these would be ones that if we had somebody that was going to this brewery, 
and we wanted to do an episode, and we mm-hmm. would be like, hey, can you see if you can get these? Because these are the ones that stuck out. Okay. Bohemian Sunshine. It's a beet beer. A beet? Yeah. Yes. A beet beer. Like the one we had out of uh-huh. uh, uh, Kansas City. Yep. Yes. So kind of like that, but it was it was like a farmhouse style. Okay. With beets. Mm. Then this one was called the Yo-Yo. Awesome can art for this one. And it's just a juicy IPA with orange zest in it. Yum. It yeah. had almost like an anime can label. Interesting. Their labels don't, not like some of the other ones that we're trying to see, mm-hmm. they're all over the place. There's no real... There's no consistency. Yeah, there, I didn't notice anything that if you saw three of them in a row without reading it, you wouldn't know that they were all the same That brewery. it was all from the yeah. shop. which was kind of cool. Yeah. I guess, because it just, whoever is doing it just gets to have whatever fun they want to have, I sure. guess. And then the last one, um, I think the beer was just called Taco. <laughs> but it was a horchata inspired lager. Oh, we, mm, yeah. I oh, think I had this. Really? Yeah. Here's what it says Japanese rice lager. Yes, yes, yes. With cinnamon, vanilla, and lactose. I got to look this up. It's called Taco from yeah. the Shop Beer, beer Company. Co? Now, we've had, there was a, wow, that was Chicago. The Taco. Time for taco, taco beer. Something, but I don't think, I've never had a horchata beer. No, I haven't either. Other than Blue Moon. They did a horchata? They had a, like a variety pack, and it had a horchata was one of the really? things, and it was really good. And that was years ago. No, I've never had this. Bummer. But, I, but I've had horchata beer, and I'm trying to think of where I had it or why I had it, but it was on one of my trips with mm. Sam. Was horchata that weird milk substance uh-huh. you made me drink at the... When uh, we had, yeah, tacos at uh, Takira Tijuana. Down, yeah, um, we it's did that Taco got, Tuesday. Always got cinnamon in it, right? Yeah. Which so is why I like it. All it all it is is um, you know, you make rice with uh-huh. cinnamon, you put a little bit of milk in it, yeah. and then you just let it cook for a long time, uh, and then you just pour the juice yeah. into a cup, cool it, it down, Add a little bit of sugar. It's really there good. Go. It was like a pint glass full of yeah. this stuff. And it was like so to the good. top. And I, and I drank some like, Dolan, you got... You, and he was like, yep. Is it like, yeah. is it well, like Mexican eggnog? Uh, That's when, like, that might be an actually... Uh, yeah. It's not, is it thick? It's not, no. not thick. thick. Okay. No, no, no. It's not thick like eggnog, but sure, you could call it Mexican eggnog. I mean, it's it's got the cinnamon and the... Uh, okay. Yeah, that kind of... I'm trying to remember what else goes in there. I, I don't guess remember. that makes sense that they would use a rice lager then for the beer, rice, for the beer, cinnamon, sugar, milk. milk. Yeah, that's what the you basics. got. Yeah, everybody's got that stuff, and it's watered down. But then they add sugar in it afterwards. And, yeah. The fact that they gave it to you in like a jug, right? If yeah. if they'd be giving me like a taster, like my little eight ounce, <laughs> that'd be that'd have been fine or whatever. No, but no. You want to drink you it cold get or warm large. or what? You can do either. I prefer cold. It was yeah. cold when he yeah. gave it to me. Yeah. yeah. Those tacos were off the charts good. Though, yeah. There. Man, it was good. Best tacos in Omaha. I yeah. still will die on that. Mm. Yeah. Name drop uh, it again. Na- what? What's Taquera it Tijuana. Tijuana. Like, Taquera Tijuana. Or I guess Taqueria Tijuana. Okay. Like ninth and... Oh. No, it's it's like a 20... No, 20, no. Yeah. It's like 23rd and uh, L or Q. L or Q. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yep. I and mean, it, yeah. It's down there by, just a little bit by the Metro South Campus. Yep, yep. Right over the bridge. By the cattle yards or whatever they call yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, stockyards. Stockyards. Yep. Yeah. God, yeah. Just, you know, 80 years ago, that was the hopping spot, man. Good that old, was Omaha. Man, old town Omaha down there. Yeah. Good and the nice thing about steak. it is if you're like, man, I've had too many of the best tacos in Omaha, <laughs> I'll just go across the street and get the second best tacos in Omaha. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, Taqueria El Rey. So oh, right across the street. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Good problem to have right? in that neighborhood. Uh, my last little bit of uh, on on Tori and Heather. So Tori, uh, he- Heather. I'm sorry. Heather has been with us for two years as a uh, uh, contract nurse. Um, Missy Lawhorn has been her recruiter the whole time, and I don't know if I could pair them better together. Like, I mean, I don't know if 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 they came to us now and said like we need a recruiter mm-hmm. or whatever, and they were brand new yeah. or whatever. Like, Misty would be my choice for them. Yeah, that's just the way the way Misty approaches recruiting and and the relationship piece and who they are. They're just they're they're just a they're a perfect match mm. between the two of them. So. 
I'll say this about Misty. She is always on it for paperwork. Perfect. I never have to email her twice. In fact, sometimes I don't have to email her at all. Mm. She just sends it. I don't even have to ask. Love it. It's great. Speaking of great, this beer is, is great. I, I like I this really one like a lot. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, oh boy, I'm going to go back. Uh, you mm. know what? I'm going to go back to the Spellbinder here real quick. Okay. There's a little bit more of this organ here, too, if you need Save it. Save me that one, because I'll, I'll have to refresh my memory I, on that That was one. good, but I, I mean, it's a double IPA, so it's a, yeah, and it's a hazy versus the standard. The, the organ's been my favorite uh, so far. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a reading at the end. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. So here we go. Last one. This Dolphin, is the one from Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz Dolphin Dance Party. This is my favorite label out of all of them. Like there are dolphins. <laughs> there's a dolphin DJ, and then there's like a dolphin with a with like a bro hat on. There's another one that looks drunk because one of his eyes is kind of red and off centered. Oh, nice. uh, and they're dancing. Hell like this yeah, was, they are. This was my favorite label out of all of them. Did they get this in Santa Cruz, do we know? I want to say this is one of the first ones, yeah. So, and I'll double check with him, but this is one of the first ones he picked up. Now, this is a foggy IPA. So, foggy. not hazy, but <laughs> well, foggy. That's, that remember that came up quite a few episodes ago. Like any of the beers made on the on the West Coast, like on the coast around uh, I mean, it definitely looks foggy. Uh, what's it called? Around San Francisco, right? Because it's foggy oh, there the fog, often. Yeah, it comes in on the bay, yeah. So they don't call them hazies there. They call them foggies. Oh, nice. That's Humble that, Sea. Yeah, Humble Sea. I love that that Hammerhead Shark logo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they had that on their merchandise on some t-shirts, which oh, was awesome. But yeah. they also had a very similar design, but with a Bigfoot. Huh. Oh. And I was like, okay, this is one of those breweries I might be... Buying something so in from. the Midwest, could we just start calling hazies uh, like humid IPAs or something mm, like that? Humid, sticky, stickies. Mm, mm-hmm. That's a, yeah. That so too. <laughs> Dolphin Dance Party Double Dry Hop Foggy IPA. Humble Sea is located in Santa Cruz, California. Yes, they have three locations. Yep. Dolphin Dance Party. Look at that. It is. It does look foggy. That's. Like an, yeah. Like, like okay. So like, if the sun was coming through, not the orange sun, like the the more yellow uh-huh. kind of look in the morning. If the sun was coming through that, that's how it would look. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks foggy. Like I, it looks delicious. It how looks like it? they took some of the cloud and just like pumped it into the beer. Yeah. You Color gotta take, wise, you gotta take a drink of this because there's something right. there that I can't I okay. can't pinpoint. I'm gonna let that I don't foam go down. Yeah. Um, these guys. They had the best merchandise of all four. Because, you know, that's what I'm going to look at, Look right? at their label, of course. Yeah. So they had a lot of Yeti-branded stuff. Okay. You know, we like, if yeah. you're going to spend money, you might as well spend money on good stuff. Yep. So they had a lot of Yeti cups and, you know, tumblers and that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of this brand? M-I-I-R? M-I-I-I-R. It's like for cups. It was, it was no. like they had a coffee no. tumbler and a water bottle. Uh-uh. And they mm. looked super fancy and kind of expensive, okay. and they were really neat. Huh. So I was like, I'll have to do some research on that. Huh. Um, I just wrote down coolest merch in my notes. Mm. Nice. Nice nice notes, Brian. Um, Santa Cruz. <laughs> Each place had different food. So in Santa Cruz, the main menu, okay. empanadas. Oh. Empanadas. Hell empanadas. That was yeah. it. That was the only thing on the menu. Mm. Hell yeah. Different, like, hand pies is basically yeah. what yeah. it looked like. Yeah, really. Fun fact, we had to, in my Spanish one or two class, I don't remember which one, in high school, we had to uh, uh, make a tapas yeah. for <laughs> some one of our projects, and then we had to bring the tapas in and try it or whatever, and uh, I attempted pineapple empanadas. Mm. And How was it? It was amazing. Oh, yeah. Empanadas break one of my food rules. Oh, what's that? That, that food needs to have an identity. Okay. Me, right like that's the reason why i hate cottage cheese because oh, it yeah. has no identity yeah you're right right you can eat it with fruit you can eat it with salt you can eat it with pepper you mm-hmm. can eat it with vegetables mm-hmm. or whatever no identity empanadas breaks that rule you can have it with you can savory yeah. sweet you can stick whatever fruit. you want in there yeah uh you can have it with venison like i've seen yeah. venison empanadas mm-hmm. but there's a place in uh it's it's north denver and i can't remember where so very um like Denver fusion almost. I don't even know how, yeah. what else to call it. So it's very Hispanic based, yeah. but then it's also very like game based too. So mm. they have elk and bison, oh, and, sure. you know, or what, and, but, and, and empanadas is that's one of the, they have like a bite, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, venison empanada on their yeah. uh, appetizer list. Yeah. Mm. Colorado is the first place I ever had elk tacos. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. 
My wife doesn't like it, but I mean, mm. elk is good. Yeah. Yeah. Elk is really good. They're beautiful animals. I love to watch them, but man, yeah. they taste good. Huge. Too. If you hit one, you're done. Oh, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. I came across a couple mm-hmm. just this last time I was in Colorado. Yeah. And I thought I saw a moose. I'm like, oh, this dang. thing's huge. They're and as big as they, big some elk. of them. Yeah. Some of the bucks can get as just big as big yeah. and they have red. Huge and, horns, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pacifica. That was what, another one of their spots. Okay. Their menu was more California, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. they had veggie brat, which I don't think I've ever seen. Ooh. Okay. They had veggie burgers, obviously. They had a hummus. Mm-hmm. They had something they called a power bowl, which was quinoa yep. and some things. I do love a good power bowl. And they had veggie burgers. They had salads. Then they had tots and burgers, too. It's very California. But that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. Like, without fish on the menu, like salmon, I kind of expected or something. But yeah. other than that, um, this brewery also was one of the only ones. And I had just done this training for Atlas, so it was stuck in my mind. Mm-hmm. They have a diversity, equity, and inclusion policy right on the website. No kidding. Yeah, which I don't think I've ever seen for a brewery. On a brewery? No. Yeah. No. It was enacted in June of 2020. Okay. And they they have the committee with the brewery, and they meet like every six weeks and talk about stuff and make sure everything's on the up and up, I guess, and so everybody feels good to work there. Weird that something like that would happen in 2020. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, right? (laughs) But that's that was kind of like, wow, that's weird that we just, I just finished my training for that here at work the other day, and then I found it, so that was interesting. Um, They have seven kinds of lagers to go. Seven. Yes. Nice. Wow. Four kinds of hazy IPAs to go. Okay. Four kinds of West Coast IPAs to go. Wow. One double IPA and one session beer. Wow. So that's what they're into. And they also have stouts bottled like bombers, but they were all sold out. I'll take one of each, please. Every one of those makes sense to me. Seven different lagers. Yeah. I I get it. That's cool. Yeah, but... Okay, so different hops, different grain, different, yeah. art, right? I mean, there's... I guess, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. It's probably like, you know, your rice lager, your right. Pilsner, mm-hmm. your... Mm, German yeah. style, whatever. German, style, German style, California yeah. one. Because, like, Anchor has a California lager, I know. Mm. So, but that was only to go. That's just to roll in there and pick it up and go. Or they'll they'll ship it to you if you're in California. Oh, okay. I could not find a, like, draft list anywhere. Mm. I looked mm. and looked, but I couldn't find that. But that's what I have for Humble C. I do have some actual research. Oh, okay. cool. Throw back to the first beer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, back to Oregon Trail. Yeah, Tombstone Brewery. Okay. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do? What, how am I going to research this? There could be too many things. Right. Um, my first thought was Tombstone. Um, my son is currently engulfed with battle bots. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And Tombstone is one of the bots in that. And I was oh. like, oh, okay, maybe that. But okay. I was like, what? what is uh, something that goes really good with beer? Tombstone Pile Driver. Nope. Tombstone the movie. Tombstone pizza. <laughs> pizza and beer. <laughs> so. Love it. We're Love doing it. a little oh. Tombstone pizza research. You ready for this? Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> Guess where it came from. The only thing we're missing is the actual pizza I itself. know. Uh, yeah. yeah. We need one. And if we were at in. this place, we could get one. Yeah. <laughs> in 1962, okay. the Tombstone Tap was in Medford, Wisconsin. It was just a local bar. Oh, okay. Oh. Just like wherever, right? Okay. And they were across the street from a cemetery. And uh, they were one of those places that was open at lunchtime. And they were trying to get people to come in and maybe stay a while. You know, longer you're there, the more you spend. Yeah, right. They're like, well, what, what could we do? And uh, one of the owners, there was two brothers. They were the Simic, S-I-M-E-K brothers. This guy, his name was Joseph. Um, but they called him Pep. His nickname was Pep, and here's why. He broke his leg doing the peppermint twist dance. <laughs> and that's re- that's real. That's real. Yep, in the 60s, he did that. Dude, how, <sighs> how hardcore was he, he going He was peppermint twisting, and he just <laughs> cracked it off. Oh, my goodness. So He's he was good. sitting there at the bar, not running around like <laughs> his brother. Some more and vitamin like, C in his diet or he something. He needs calcium or something. Well, <laughs> on a bar, you're probably not the healthiest guy. I, yeah, guess. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. But he's like, what can I do? you know what? I'm going to make pizza. He's, I'm going to make a little pizza there here. There you go. And the, the brewery was, or the, the bar itself was called Tombstone because of the cemetery across there. Yep. They started making pizzas. Guess what? They were real popular. People liked them. So within two years, their kitchen, they started at that 
at the bar was six foot by six foot. That's nothing. No. That's smaller it's than... It's like this table. That's this table right yeah. here. Yeah. And they're yeah. making wow. pizzas for their, their bar patrons or whatever. Oh, man. So within a couple of years, uh, it was 66 by then. So it happened in 62. So within four years, they bought a freezer truck, and they were driving around in this area and also maybe to Milwaukee and selling their pizzas that they made to other bars. Okay. Other taverns. It's not like a restaurant thing. It's just like, hey, you're going to be here pounding some, you know, straight beers. Yeah. Here's some frozen pizza. Here's a couple pizzas. Cook yeah. them up and... Yeah. yeah. So that happened. And then a couple years later, they're like, we are, we, we're busy. We need to do something with this. They bought some land in Medford, eight acres, and it's still there. And 1984, they had a company. They started their own wow. pizza place. Mm-hmm. Tombstone Pizza. Um, Isn't they, it weird how like just like a normal idea like oh I'm gonna make pizza for my bar yep. turned into this mega thing that yeah. mega we can go thing. buy anywhere in Omaha? Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow! So they have 600 employees currently. 600. Yeah, it's the second biggest employer in Medford. I don't know what the first was. Interesting. But the second biggest one. Um, in 1984, the brothers were kind of like one of them got. He's like, I don't really want to do anything with this anymore. I'm getting yeah. older. And he's like, okay, we're either going to have to like put a lot of money into this Mm -hmm. to compete or maybe it's time to sell it. Sell. And that's what they did. They sold to Kraft. Yep. 1986. Ah. So it was Kraft cheese, Mm -hmm. Um, but local Wisconsin cheese. And then they are now the third biggest frozen pizza on the market. Third biggest. I tried to find out who was in there. Above them, I could. It's got to be like Totino's. Totino's. Something like that, yeah. You would think, um, yeah. And then, you DiGiorno, know. maybe. <sighs> maybe. DiGiorno up there? I don't I, know. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like one of the, like Costco or Walmart brands. Could like be. one of those. Like, oh, yeah. You know, mass yeah. marketed. I bet I can Google it. Let's, so they were. what I can find. And I think it was in the 80s, maybe. They were $100 million for a pizza that was. That's pretty damn good for a frozen pizza company. Making pizzas out of their bar to start Jeez. with. Their market currently is in 80 percent of the united states so not everywhere but pretty who, close who doesn't get this yeah, i don't like know florida maybe i don't i mean what markets don't get tombstone they also pizza? make tombstone meat snacks like sticks you know like you would see like a meat really? stick like old wisconsin as a brand yeah. i know maybe that's in the wisconsin area maybe so it's more local they have 40 different kinds of pizzas currently four zero yeah four zero wow and 20 million pounds of cheese every year is okay. used on their pizzas. Yeah. All right. So then a little bit later on, I think it was 86 that sold. In 88, they, and this is something you'll have to help me with, mm-hmm. they were freestanding outside of Kraft. So they were their own brand yeah. under the umbrella, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, in 2010, they sold the company to Nestle. Okay. So the Tombstone brand was sold to Nestle. To Nestle, yeah. And they used that money to buy Cadbury. Really? Really. So they're like, oh, we, we, I guess we want to get out of the pizza game and into the chocolate game. We'll sell our pizza to the chocolate guy and we'll buy a different chocolate company. Okay, so I remember when that happened, when, when Cadbury was purchased. Mm-hmm. Because that was, Cadbury for the longest time was one of the more... Um, like like luxurious go yeah. back to Dolan's hair again, right? Right. Like one yeah. of the more like like fancy brands. Yeah. Right. But now all of a sudden it's owned here in the states because it was a UK. Yeah, for sure. Brand. And, that and was, now it's here uh, yep. owned here in the states. Mm-hmm. And that that was the deal. They yeah. they wanted to buy it, and that was how they got the money to do it. Um, Nestle. So now that they own Tombstone, mm-hmm. they also own DiGiorno. Yep. Jacks. Yes. And the California Pizza Kitchen pizzas mm. i was gonna say so i just looked this up and it said nestle was the biggest frozen pizza manufacturer in the u.s yeah and they own DiGiorno, california pizza tombstone and jacks there you go wow they own I mean, them that's, all that's like all the ones that i generally get yep so good for good for you uh, nestle which yeah. was the one was it tombstone it might have been jacks no it was jacks remember during the pandemic uh, when like we were when we were in the thick of it and New York is shut down, mm-hmm. uh, pizza review on Barstool. He was doing it from his apartment and they were just and like people were mailing him frozen pizzas. Yeah, and he was doing them in his apartment. Oh, wow. And it got to the point where like people were mailing him so much shit, like he just had boxes behind him. Yeah, but he had something happened 
he didn't have he went through all the major brands except for Jack's I kind of want to say it's them and I don't remember who it was you, you can go back and find it so uh, um, the one that I'm looking at I'm just going to see these if this one of them is what you're talking about yeah uh, so DiGiorno's number one Red Baron number two Red Baron Red I forgot Baron. Red Baron one, hmm. yeah Tombstone three Totino's four Jack's five so Nestle right there three four five yeah. wow yep so uh, Freshetta, they had Barstool had reached out to them and said, "Hey, you know, Dave's doing these or whatever. Would you send him a frozen pizza to review or whatever?" And Jacks, I, I want to say it was Jacks. They said, "No, thanks. We're oh, not going to do it." Remember yes, this? I remember. And he and freaked he out. He freaked out. He, He's like, "Oh my gosh!" He went on like a week's worth of tirade. Does he want to get Jacks pizza? Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. And so companies <laughs> like them so like bad. Lots of matzo. Have yeah. you have you heard of that? Yes. Oh yeah, so, we get those a lot. Yeah, I love those. Um, they sent him like fifteen free pizzas. Yeah, they're like, oh, since Jacks won't do it, we'll do it. Oh, so yeah. they got promotion. It made out of it too. some yeah. of those brands. Like it absolutely yeah. made some of those wow. brands. Wow. Yeah. To surprise, and now they have the one bite pizza. What? Wait, yeah. what? Huh? Yeah, one, one bite, bite branded pizza. It, it's sold at Walmart now, so it's, oh, a, it's really? a yeah, mm-hmm. it's a bar stool branded pizza. Now it's it, it's co-packed, it's okay. right? I mean, it's yeah, fine, sure. yeah. But yeah, it's a it's a. Hmm. I guess yeah. eventually they're going to have to do something. And they like have that, more right? flavors than just cheese, which makes me mad. But whatever. <laughs> you got to stick to your more. Just, yeah. yeah, he should have stuck to something. it, right? Yeah, yeah he should have yeah. stuck to it. Gold standard. Um, last two things on this. Um, slogan, what do you want on your tombstone? You and I will remember that. I remember that commercial. Do you don't even see commercials for frozen pizzas anymore, do you? No, not like that. I no, guess I don't really, really watch commercials, but... The DiGiorno was, still? DiGiorno, yeah. yes. It's not, not delivery. Not yeah. delivery or whatever. He was standing in front of a firing squad, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you remember Yeah, that? oh yeah. What do you want on your tombstone? What do you want on yeah. your tombstone? Yeah. I'll take pepperoni and... Yeah, or <laughs> sausage and mushrooms. Or, <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever it was. And then late 90s, early 2000s, they had one that was, that was called Shoulda had Shoulda that tombstone. Could've. So oh, the commercial no. they talked about was this high school kid was hiding in his girlfriend's room and the dad walks <sighs> in and she, they find him because his stomach's growling. <laughs> so he like opens the closet and he's like, ah, you should have had that tombstone. Uh, I was like, oh, that's kind of clever. Dang, I guess I love it. Gross, but whatever. That's yep. good. So that's what I got for us. The history of tombstone pizza from a little tiny bar. It looked like, like a, a garage is what the bar looked like on the pictures wow. I found. Yeah. And uh, yeah, 60 years later, mega pizza chain. Frozen. It's crazy how it's still connected to beer, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we still are. Still connected to beer. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go through untapped here. I didn't do, I didn't do a uh, trip advisor on each of these okay. or, or whatever. So as much as I wanted to, I, I, I decided not to. Here's what I did. I, I did the first two. And the ratings, I'm not going to give this away. The ratings were high enough. I mm-hmm. thought, well, wait a minute. What's the cumulative rating through all of these? Sure. And I'm not surprised because Tori is a beer guy, just yeah. like we yeah. are, right? And he's not going to send us shitty beer. No, yeah. he's not sending us shelfies, if exactly. you will. Exactly. Yeah. The cumulative untapped rating on all four uh-huh. of these is 4.05. Oh, that's good. That is ridiculous. Yeah. So good. That is ridiculous. Mm. And one of them actually pulls it down a little a bit. Really? If the other if that one had been up just a bit, it would have been like in the 4.1, 4.2 range. Wow. You know what's crazy is Dolan's going to rate the gold medal winning one the lowest. Yes, he is. Yeah. That's I would. crazy. Well, yeah. I went back to Dolphin Dance Party twice. It's oh. my new favorite, quite honestly. Okay. Oh. I yeah. I, I feel like they brewed the beer with maybe some of that dolphin water. Mm. Maybe it's not dolphin safe. Is what yeah, you're it's saying. not dolphin safe. Mm. All right, so let's go. We'll go back to Tombstone. So okay. Tombstone, two thousand two hundred and ten check-ins. Hmm. Where do you think we land on that one? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go four. I guess I'm gonna go four. Four point one eight. Four point one four. Wow. Yep. Dang. Yes. And that was probably my that number four. That's really, that's my number one. Easily. Or the Oregon, tr- that one? Oregon's my really? number one. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna, me and Dolan are going to have to wow. see who can split the rest of the ones. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, Renhouse, Spellbinder, IPA, Spellbinder. Wow. 738 check-ins. Where do we land on that? Uh, you know. You can't, you can't. 
I'm not just because you don't I'm, like. Well, I'm, it's I'm not gonna, a style thing. I'm I gonna, guess I'm gonna rank up based off of its gold medal, and I'm gonna say it's uh, four point one five. I'll go four point two six. Four point one nine. <sighs> Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty yeah. close. It's the there highest one actually out of all of them. <laughs> that one, Spellbinder, is actually the highest out of all. Okay. That was my number four. Which, oh, God, it's my number three, sadly. So I you've thought, got one and four, and that's three for you. Okay. Yeah. And that was your four? The organ? Organ was four, yeah, okay. for me. No, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, The Shop, Church Music IPA, untapped 15,583 check-ins. Quite a few. By far the most check-ins out of all of them. Yeah. Uh, where do you think we land? 15,583 check-ins. I check-ins. have a feeling this one's low. I yeah. think I'm going to go like 3.74. I'm going 382. 388. It is the lowest at 3.88. And that's still pretty good. It, dra- huh? it is still pretty yeah. good, but it dragged the average down yep. on the four. Mm. Yep. That was my number two. Okay. Um, it was my number two as well. Now, it. I thought that was... Man, you put that beer in front of me, I would be so mm-hmm. happy. Yeah. Uh, my favorite now here, Humble Sea Dolphin Dance Party. Wow. I love that beer. That's a great beer. It is. Yeah, I like that one. I'm going to drink the rest of it if nobody cares. No, go for it. Uh, untapped 266 <laughs> check ins there. 266? 266. We went from 15,000 to 266. Yeah, where do we land on that one? Hmm. 4.04. Oh, I'm going 407. Oh, 3.99. Oh. Yep, right at 4. We were both over. Right, right yeah. there. Yep. But a cumulative rating of 4.05. Hmm. Thanks. Tori knows what he's doing. Do you want my harsh opinion of all of them? Yeah. I, oh, boy. It's been you eating cut it out if this whole to. thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Oregon, so good. I drink a gallon of it. Maybe yeah. two. Interesting. Uh, shop beer, I, I drink a half gallon of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, uh, the next one, Dolphin Dance Party. Yeah. I can drink it. Okay. I can tolerate it. Yeah. I think it tastes a little fishy. Mm, like weird. Like tuna. It's a dolphin. Um, yeah, it's the dolphin meat. <laughs> the Ren House uh, reminds me of a urinal cake. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it reminds me of a freshly cleaned gas station bathroom. Mm. Well, at least it's clean. <laughs> it's clean, yeah. It's yeah. clean. <laughs> it's got clean aftertaste. But Here, here's what's fascinating. Okay, so... He has graduated in his beer journey yeah. to the double IPA, right? I mean, <laughs> yep. that's that's where he's at. You know, I remember, is important. I remember that time. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Mm. It, that's weird. It's just oh. it, it's fun to watch it happen. It happened for you, yeah, and then you watched it happen to yeah. me, yeah, and now we're watching it happen to him. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? It'll all come back around again too. All, yeah. In, in a, a year, year, when I try it again, I'll mm-hmm. maybe have flipped opinion. Mm-hmm. You're Who back knows? in a year. You're back to pilsners and yeah. lagers. This and is one of the fun things about doing like beer shares. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just to get everybody's opinion and see mm-hmm. what they. It's kind of like when you find a great song and you want to yeah. play it for somebody, oh. and you're like, "Oh, listen to this," and you watch them listen to it, and they're like, oh, mm-hmm. "Yeah, it's, it's okay." Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I it's always great. take a chance with showing people music, and then and then even if they don't like it, I force them to listen to the whole song. Yeah. I'm like, but wait, wait, it gets better. It's wait. better. Mm. Yeah, wait till the end. And then, yeah, whatever. I that's do that with my wife in TikToks. I make her watch the whole thing. She's yeah. like, that's not funny. I'm like, you're stupid. <laughs> I don't understand why you're doing it because I will watch this a thousand times and laugh just as hard every yeah. time. Mm. And then she tells me I'm stupid. And yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it is. That's how a marriage works. Whatever. So, all right. Thank you once again to Tori and Heather. Look, anytime you want to go to a concert, it, this is the other thing. So, Tori just went to uh, Roger Waters. Oh, uh, that wouldn't that uh, wouldn't suck. Oh, yeah, no, that I'm super jealous of that. Anyway, we were talking online and we were just talking through Facebook Messenger or whatever. Like, man, if you could score me one of those posters yeah. from that show, that would uh-huh. be kick ass. Now, these are all beers that he went and tried while he was down while there for that there. concert. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so, okay. so awesome. Uh, yeah. So then next day he's like, okay, I got a poster. What at 50 bucks? I'm like, look, I, I will gladly Venmo yeah. you 50 bucks for that. And now it's hanging in my basement. So. Oh, nice. Oh, it's beautiful. That's cool. It's That's cool. So awesome. No matter how much of an asshole Roger is, he's, yeah. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's still Pink Floyd, man. He's yeah. still a musical genius. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I was super jealous of the concert that, that he got to go. It, the, he doesn't come. I mean, he came to Kansas City and Denver. That was as close yeah. as he got. So, yeah. So, any Tori, anytime you want to send us beers, 
You got the address. I could oh, actually yeah. send him a few. Um, mm-hmm. I've got a handful of them from locally here that I need to send him. I can't wait till Tori, Heather, and Tori come through Omaha. Like yeah. that brewery tour is going to be get a messed up. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to have to get a hotel room because. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's we can rent the every single one. pint uh, party bus. We could just yeah. We could just yes. get a bus and let's go to every single one. It's a couple we can skip, but book yeah, it. book it. Hey, there's a new fairy actor out. Yeah. Right now, oh, new the, variant is the, there the anniversary yeah. one? Yeah, interesting, fantastic. Got to try it. Yep, I'll send you, uh, Tori. I'm going to send you some of those, so you'll dig it. So, all right, uh, let's see. Next week, Dolan's got a beer for us. Yeah, okay. He went on a trip with his wife and brought a beer back, like oh, like yeah. any good, good uh, yeah. producer should, right? That's yeah, right. That's of course. Always thinking about the show. Yeah, yep. looking for content. And then I'm still waiting. Like we're in stout season. Why aren't we doing stouts? We got a couple. Okay. I, yeah. I went back in the beer fridge and did some looking around. A recon. Some had. recon? Yeah. All right. We got to get some stouts. Before we get to Christmas beers, like I know you've got a Christmas beer. I do already, in. yeah. Let's get to some stouts first, yeah. and then we'll get there. So. Look, we got a lot of cold weather ahead of us. You're right. You it's know. fine. Stouts will make that all better. <laughs> Until then, we're not going anywhere for a while. Let's have another beer. Thank you for listening to A Beer with Atlas. Special thanks to our brand team for producing the show. Each episode of A Beer with Atlas is powered by Atlas Medstaff, an industry leader in travel healthcare staffing. <laughs>